Today is Fatu's 13th birthday. But the opening of presents has to wait. This morning's appointment at the orthopaedic clinic sees the latest unwrapping of her foot. Fatty's learnt to do all manner of everyday tasks balanced on one leg because she was born with her right foot twisted inwards. It's a congenital condition called clubfoot, which affects one in 800 babies born. Fatty's travelled hundreds of miles for treatment. School is on pause for now with weeks of appointments ahead. I never thought I would get treatment. It has been complicated for me. When I saw my friends running, and I could not. Everything I longed to do, I couldn't do. But once cured, anything I want to do, I'll be able to. At 14, Serinya is reliant on his mother to bring him to clinic. But she'll do whatever it takes for a son who was born with both feet twisted inwards. His father had been hesitant about the idea of hospitals and operations. But the treatment they do here means minimal surgery. Some people said he wouldn't walk, that he was incurable. Whenever I sent him on an errand, he would refuse to go, out of shame of his condition. In school, kids teased him about his feet. One time, he refused to go to class for three days. It caused me real heartache. In another clinic outside the capital, they're catching cases as early as possible. It was the original idea of this treatment which helps to manoeuvre the feet to face forwards. It's called the Ponsetti method. On average, we do five casts, so successive casts which we change every week. It's with this plaster that we will correct this deformity. The medical team rely on word of mouth to get parents to bring their babies in. So this child is only 13 days old. This is her second cast. So this means she's received treatment from the start of her life. It makes healing easier and the feet are very flexible when they are young. That's the point of seeing them early. We have much better results. The thing about clubfoot treatment is it's super cheap and actually very easy. It doesn't even need highly trained doctors. Physiotherapists can do it too. This is how they're telling people about Clubfoot in Senegal. Bikers handing out information leaflets, loudspeaker announcements telling parents what to look out for. Aisha had corrective treatment in her mid-teens, but it being the 1990s then, she had to be flown to the US for surgery. Now she champions this simple treatment in Senegal. Today is all about awareness um, because uh, right now in Senegal, Senegal is only treating about 20, under 20% 20 of the children born with clubfoot. And this market being the central market of chess, so it's the perfect opportunity to capture, especially the women who are the leaders of the home and they know about the kids who generally are hidden at home. So it's a disability that's hidden, but at least here, we're here, we're talking about it, they get to see it, and they will get their kids out of hiding and get them to the hospitals for treatment. So that's our goal here for today. Stigma can be a big barrier to treatment. Some people reach adulthood having never been helped. Some get the wrong type of treatment. Salam alaikum. Aloha. Ça va? Today, one of the world experts on clubfoot, Dr. Umberto Chagas, has come to visit Omu. I used to ask my mother why I was like this. She would answer, it's God's will, you were born like this. She dropped out of school, and even a job machine sewing was too hard due to the shooting pains in her foot. 
My dream was that a day would come where I could get help for me to walk normally. If not normally, then for me to at least be able to wear shoes and hang out with my friends. At the end of today's examination, I asked the doctor if she would benefit from the Ponsetti method. Unfortunately, no, because her case is really complicated. She's been affected by surgery. She has hard feet and she's in her mid-30s. In fact, the Ponsetti method is extraordinary for children under the age of two. For teenagers, it's useful too now. But of course, we have limits, as we've just seen. Thankfully, family attitudes are changing about accessing treatment at birth. Baby Obliber's father was proactive in contacting a clinic, fearing his son would be ostracized. If you're not careful, you'll be marginalised and isolated. I've known a man with club foot in the neighbourhood for 15 years. He's never been married. It's as if something's missing and stopping him from getting married. All this made me want to get it sorted out for my child now. A week later, Serinya is back at the clinic with his mother. He's having his 20th cast taken off and the last one put on. A minor operation was also required to release the Achilles tendon. Now each foot is in position. He'll need physiotherapy to learn to walk again. But look at the progress on his feet. That dream of playing football is coming within reach.